Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're an existing guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Grab yourself a nice cup of tea and some snacks. And um, I'm actually in the middle of filming a different video, but I thought I'd film an intro because I have got awful with filming any content lately. It has been really, really busy here. So obviously, you know, I'm a stay at home mum and I like to film when I can in the lip gap for now, but having a nap. Um, but it has just been so full on. And then if I can't do it then, then I might try and fit it in at the weekend to show you what, guys what we've been up to. And I had all intentions of doing Vlogmas. Because we've done some pretty cool things like since December. Yeah, like just random stuff. And um, we went to like go see Back to the Future with the kids, for their first proper theatre show in London. My sister babysat Albert, so we went there. And then we all ran Covent Garden, the Christmas markets, had some like churros and mulled wine. That was really lovely. My mum done like a faux Christmas at her house and she lives in this cute little cottage. And it was just really, really lovely. It just felt like the holiday. It felt like so Christmassy and they just done loads of food and there was all the family there. And then we put the outdoor Christmas lights up, which was nice. Went and bought a Christmas tree. Um, just lots of North Pole breakfast. Just It's just been crazy. But obviously, I've been having to get all the house sorted, do all the activities with the kids because they've got so many things going on at school, haven't they? Like Christmas jumper day and this day, that day, nativity, all this sort of stuff. Um, so I've not filmed. But I did say, one of the things we did do was reef making with all my friends. Um, and I did say, I would show you little snippets of that. I have got to say, there's barely any snippets of while they're here. There's a couple. Um, but I know some people wanted to do a little reef making with their friends. So I'm just showing you the bits that I bought, how I set it up, um, and also as well, I don't know if this is going to be added to this, because while I'm filming this, I'm trying to remember what I filmed the other week, because I'm awful. Um, I did order some Italian ruscus and a reef base from my local florist, and it's the same concept to make a Christmas reef as it is with that. So... I might even pop that in so you can see how to make an actual reef as well. So if you have got people coming and you don't know how to make a real reef, then you've got the concept as well. But I did run out of foliage <laughs> and then it's like a half reef that you'd have to carry on for it to be full. This is what I mean, guys. I'm absolutely all for filming lately. I've just got too much going on in my head. Um, so I thought I'd do a little intro anyway. So hopefully, you might not even see this. I might just go, oh my God, I can't even put that together because it's awful. But if you're watching this, then I did, I managed it, even if it's the most awful format. But I thought we'd do a little intro. I have to film a little outro now as well, like, bye, see you later. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm gonna show you the bits now of how I set up for Christmas wreath making. Um, and then there'll be a little snippet of me making a wreath as well. It'll be on different days. I'll be wearing random clothing, but you understand what I'm like. I'm a nightmare, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoy. So what I got from the florist is um, a, a large bunch of eucalyptus because I, you don't need this, but I think this just adds a little something extra to the reefs. Um, and there's obviously two different types of the, um, the Christmas tree that you can use, like the foliage. So this one is the spruce. So it's much thicker, as you can see, like much more chubbier um, stems. I don't know if you how to explain it. And it's got like a powdery color to it. And then there's the pine as well. There is a spruce underneath. So I've got two spruce and two pine here. Now three would have definitely been enough for 11 people. Um, but obviously not everyone makes reefs all the time. So if they do cut bits a little bit longer, then we're not gonna run out of the foliage that we need. Um, as we come around here, I do apologise about the tumble dryer in the background. I will turn that off when everyone gets here, but I've just set it all up ready. So these are the bits that people can add to their reefs. Now, I get all of this stuff. I don't expect anyone to put in um, because I don't do New Year's Eve parties and stuff like that. So what I do is I spend this and then that's my party that I throw. And my friends are really lovely. They're always throwing parties and it's really always lovely. So this is my thing that I do to sort of give back a little bit as well. And I love it. Um, but if they do want to have like baubles or something on their um, reefs, then they can bring their own colour scheme, i.e. blue bulb bulbs. What I, what I supply is all the foliage, the reef bases, I've got pine cones, cinnamon sticks, lots of different dried fruits. Um, I've got these berries off Amazon as well. If I can link anything below, I will. Um, I've also got these. Guys, buy these from the pound shop. They're the best. You get 37 metres of florist wire and they're only a pound each. A selection of wide ribbons. So I have got a big basket of other ribbons if they want to use finer ones. Um, but the wired edge ones are always best. So we've got like a big burgundy roll here. Gold, silver, like a jute, rose gold, um, buffalo check, like a dark green, loads of different reds. There's another jute one there and then there's a few reds and greens. Um, and there's also like little stems of like little bits of foliage if they want to pop them into their reef as well. I did have bubbles last year but they have gone now so... 
you know, I thought I'm not gonna go out buying loads of baubles, so I got these cutters from Amazon, they were the cheapest. These ones, I had loads of, and I lost them, I don't know what I've done, but these were originally Wilco, these ones were amazing, these um, secateurs. Um, but I ordered these ones off Amazon um, to obviously replace those. You can't get rid of the toys. I was gonna put them up in the room to get rid of, obviously that's Albert's little bumbo seat that goes on the chair to adjust him up, but obviously. <laughs> It can't be on the chair. So there is 11 of us, so there'll be six up the table. Um, so these are the moss reefs. I get these prepared and made by the florist. Um, it is more expensive doing it that way, but to be completely honest with you, I hate this stuff. It's so mucky. And actually, by the time you've bought the moss and you've soaked it and you've obviously bought the, the wire frame for it to go on, it isn't that much more. So it's definitely worth getting the florist to do it for you. Then there'll be three sitting at the breakfast bar here. We did order have a couple more people this year. And then rather than getting the table out, the summer house down the end, me and my sister stood here last year anyway, so that made no difference. Me and my sister are going to stand here, and obviously we can just talk to everybody. As you come round, we're going to... I've got to put the food out. I haven't done that yet. So we've got some wine glasses at the ready. And I've got these from Asda. They were really reasonable. Um, so I've got some wine glasses. I've got some Prosecco. For, I've got teapots, so I'm going to go out with some tea. I'm going to put the scones in here in a sec. Um, butter, <laughs> I've got clotted cream and jam as well, some nice crisps, just a few pickles, and then I've just got a few different cheeses, some ham, and my sister's bringing in crusty rolls. So really, really bog standard. Most people that come bring something like a cake or something anyway, a lot of my friends bake, and um, so they bring like a baked good or some biscuits and stuff like that. So we really are covered. So we're gonna have uh, scones with jam and cream, and then just crisps and rolls and stuff. To be fair with you, nine times out of 10, we don't eat too much anyway, because we end up just chit-chatting and making our reefs anyway. But this is a set up for the reef making. And uh, yeah, it'd be really nice. And one of my friends has just had a baby as well. So she's bringing little Gracie. So she's coming too. So I dare say we'll all be having cuddles and stuff. So she'll just probably be in her buggy all plonked here in a little bubby bambino thing. So yeah, this is the setup, um, And I'll film a little bit of us all together as well. <laughs> what you should always do is do like one center next one to this side next one to that side so that you're always making sure to sort of fill each area and um, so I'm just going to wrap this section up with just some florist wire making sure that you go really nice and tight And then on the front where that other bit of wire just was, I'm just gonna twist these together in a knot so that we know that they're nice and secure. And then trim with my little metal cutters, little wire cutters. And you can end up with like little bits like this on the reef. Now, when you make another section, you again get the same sort of amount again, like four pieces, so like basically two stems, cut in half, we'll make four of these in a bunch. And then we'll have one on the top on the front of this. So the next one we'll probably do will be a up one. So it'll be up, so it'll kind of cover this piece of straw here, coming down slightly onto the reef. And then yet again, with your florist wire, wherever I put that, you will go around, making sure to secure that at the back. So then the third one, what you're going to do with this one is you're going to then do it slightly underneath. So like within the reef like there. So you have one at the front, one coming this way, one coming this way. And this is how we're going to fill up the whole reef form. And this is how you get it covered really nicely. So guys, this is how we've got on so far. Um, I am loving this. I do think it looks really nice and full and obviously you can't see the straw um, from the sides, which is a really good bonus. The only thing is I've gone a little bit too well with the coverage that now I've run out and I haven't got any to sort of like 
do the carry on the shape around here. Um, so I don't really know what to do, whether to just try and do a ginormous bow at the top, because I know that that foliage took a little while to come in from the florist. Um, so I'm going to quickly go and have a look at my ribbon stashes and see what I've got. Right, so I've got this huge burgundy wired ribbon that I'm thinking of tying around the top. We'll have to see how we look doing this. I'm thinking of tying it around the top. This is a improvised, guys. <laughs> Right, so I've just tied it, you can't see that bit, but I've just tightened it with a bit of florist wire around there to keep it all wrapped up neat. And then I'm thinking of making a big bow to go on the front of this. I think the bow's gonna have to be one of them um, thingy bows, you know the ones where you sort of fold your ribbon, like so, a few times. And then you cut it and then you tighten the middle with a bit of um, florist wire making sure it's in the middle nice and tight twist it round and then what I'm going to do is, is to affix it I'm just going to get a longer piece of florist wire to go around the actual center and then you'll see what I'm going to do just so that because if you use that one piece I don't think it'd hold the bow on so I'm going to pop this like this pop the bow on the top putting this bit around the wide section and tying it at the back so it's all fixed together And then with the bow, because it's wired, you can make a bigger I think that looks quite pretty. And then now we've done that piece, now I'm going to bring down the ribbon legs, which you might have thought, why is she missing the ribbon legs? And it's purely for the reason that I wanted to make sure that everything was attached first. Make sure they're coming at the same length. And then yet again with another bit of florist wire to come in the centre. Twist it round and we can attach this to the bottom. So hopefully you enjoyed that video guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to pop them below. I know I've been a nightmare of also getting back, but if there are questions, I will try and get back as best I can. Um, I will just say as well, obviously, I went to my florist because it's much cheaper for me personally to do that and less ag. My florist is very, very reasonable. Um, but you can go and buy, even from like Home Vargins or The Range, very, very cheap Christmas trees and just cut the foliage off yourself. It's a lot more work, but you can get Christmas trees for about a tenner. Um, I would actually say the best place to go would be a garden centre, a local garden centre, because you can get a big tree, really cheap. Um, so yeah, it'd probably be better like that. Your reef bases, they are pretty simple to do yourself. They don't have to be on a moss base either. You can just do a wire base. Depends on how long you want to put it out. I'd say if you put it outdoors and it's mostly wet, it will last for the whole of December. Obviously, if you're putting it inside with the heating, it might dry it and fall apart. So you might need a, a moss um, base that's wet. But there are also ones you get from the range where they're the oasis you can wet and then put them, obviously do them that way. So yeah, whatever you want to do. But hopefully you've enjoyed this anyway. And if, like I say, if you've got any questions, pop them below and I'll try and get back as best I can. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. See you later. Take care. Bye.